Curtains drawn back waiting for the dawn On a losing street that started the day he was born Now he puts the bottle back inside the drawer Gonna 
gonna have to face it all on your own. Hello, welcome to Guitar Trek. I am Richard J. Dowling, and today I'm going to tell you about uh, this week's song, which is Song 50 of the Summer Week Challenge, and it's called You're Gonna Have to Face It on Your Own. Um, and I guess the most striking thing about the song, apart from my hat, uh, is the tremolo sound. And I'll show you how I got that. So. <coughs> Uh, this is my Jazz Master. Oops, just drop the pick. And oh, I've got the rhythm circuit. I use it as a kill switch. Okay, so um, a bit of background. I injured my hand recently. You can't really see it. I don't think it just—it's just a cut now. But it makes it, and I think there's a bit of a sprain or something because it's difficult for me to to hold things. So it's difficult to to strum with any power, and that's usually my my style. So uh, last week I, I got around it by using the keyboard, and this week I thought I'd get around it. Although it's it's pretty much healed now. I think uh, I've got a rehearsal hopefully this this week. I, sh I should be able to do it. Um, but I still wanted something that would be easier on on the strumming hand. So I thought, okay, I need a sort of. I want to be able to just play a chord, let it ring. Um, but then, how do you make that easy? Uh, sort of, you know, hold hold the interest. So I have this this chord combination, which is E minor, D major, A major, which is the verse so I thought about adding a tremolo and let's see how should we do this so okay so I've got distortion so it's just the tremolo of the amp I won't bother with the settings too much because it doesn't really matter the exact settings the the, the, the thing is the the trick that I'm going to show you uh, so this is a clean sound obviously and the Vox Pathfinder amp with a sort of slow tremolo but on its own bum 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 it doesn't really it's nice, but for the whole song it wasn't really you know, that interesting. So what I did was I added another tremolo. So I'm using the tremolo of the amp plus a tremolo pedal. So I'll turn off the amp tremolo. So this is just playing guitar. So then I'll kick in the tremolo pedal. And you can hear that's at a faster rate. This is, I'm using the, just for those of you who want to know, this is the Nunaba slate pedal, um, which you can load in different settings, and I've loaded in a tremolo setting. And I think, I mean, I think they're missing a trick there. I think they could do a lot more. It's a very simple tremolo. It sounds very nice. The It's difficult to play with the, the timing because it just seems to have a very small window of usability. Um, but I think they could have added a lot more effects and a lot more different options, like different waveforms and stuff. But that's just me. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the owner of the, the company, so don't you know? Don't feel the need to change your business model on my say so. But anyway, it's a nice sound of tremolo, so you can hear it. It's a fast rhythm, and then together with. When you have two tremolos on at the same time, but they're just set at different speeds, you get this sort of syncopation between the two different waveforms. They they cancel out and meet up and stuff. So you get an interesting rhythm. But uh, 
um, to make it even more interesting, I thought it's better. I'd like it with distortion because then you, you can really hear what, what's happening rhythmically. <laughs> single note. And it's, it's practically playing itself, so the trick is simply two, two tremolo pedals set to different speeds. They can interact and they come up with a nice rhythm. So all I do is I, I just have to play one, uh, one strum, which I could do with my fingers, I don't even have to use a thumb and then the tremolos and the distortion do the rest of the song so that worked out really nicely then the song itself the lyrics um i had this sort of dramatic sounding verse and then the chorus na 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 which is d major g major a it sounded quite twee so i thought of um trying to make it a, like a, a, a tougher sounding song. The previous week I'd mentioned that um, the keyboard song that I'd done was in a major key but it sounded sad. So it got me interested in this idea of playing with, with emotion. So while the music could be sort of happy, la, 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 it's, could be, you could sort of take it in a twee direction. I thought it would be nicer to have it as, as a darker theme uh, in terms of the lyrics and so I just came up with the idea of these people I mean really the, the, the sort of lyrics popped into my head really before I had any real idea of what the song was going to be about so the curtain the curtains drawn by waiting for the dawn actually the first line that came into my head was the was the second sort of couplet was he puts the part up he puts the, puts not the bottle the bottle he puts the bottle back inside the drawer though he knows that he'll be back again for more that was the first couplet it just sort of came into my head so then i thought of well the first verse about this guy who's in this moment of uh reflection you know one of those four o'clock in the morning moments i think we've all had um, but I didn't want to go too deeply into his particular situation, but it's just at that moment where he's, you know, he's drinking, he's on his own, he's waiting for the dawn. And then cut to a different situation with a woman who's remembering all the lovely times that she had when she was a kid that maybe she's not having now as an adult. So just these sort of snapshots of, of people at different moments in their lives. And then the chorus goes into this, um, look at us, skin and bone. Before we knew our time had flown And I think it's, it works really well, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's not so much a narrative as just these moments taken together and hopefully it all assembles itself in the mind of the listener. So that was this week's song and the, I think that's, that's it musically. I think the lyrics, uh, do, 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 tremolo, pedal, effect. Um, hopefully next week I'll be back to normal, but it's been quite interesting working around um, not being able to properly play with with my hand. So, uh, you know, people have commented on the previous songs that on the previous song that having a restriction, having a limitation, does force you to be creative and to come up with solutions that you would normally wouldn't think of. And it's certainly in my case has been it's been um, quite eye opening, and I found this nice tremolo trick. So it's been very productive. So when I say it's going to be back to normal, I mean normal is a relative term. I'm always trying to do something different. But um, I do feel a bit under pressure at the moment because it's, this is week 50 and I'm coming up to week 52. And it would be nice to be able to finish the year. I mean, I don't, to be honest, I, I, I don't have any... I didn't have any special intention of reaching a year. I just it was. I tend to concentrate on the week as it as it goes. One one song a week, and I've I've arrived here. But now I'm at fifty. I think well, I've got to get to fifty two. Whereas before I was really I was really worried just about the the song. Now I'm thinking well, I need two more songs. I've already got the one that I was going to do the week that I injured my hand. So that's sorted there. I'll have to check see if it's 
if it's ready. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Uh, it's been very nice chatting with you all on the comments. I haven't had a lot of time recently, so uh, I'm tending to maybe uh, reduce the amount of time spent in the wider YouTube community and focus more on just really on 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 the, the people that I, I particularly like following. So if I've been if you've been receiving comments from me, it's because I, I, I you know I enjoy your work and I look forward to it. Um, the and if you haven't received been receiving comments and you're watching this, it's probably just because maybe I've, I've forgotten or something, or I will be about to comment. But um, anyway, I hope you find this video useful. And um, please, if you have any questions or you'd like to know more information about anything, please let me know in the comments. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.